and um, apart from this yes uh, the um, retail business has grown we all see that a uh, lot of new markets are coming up lot of new stores are coming up so we are growing very fast and in india we are uh, targeting even the tier uh, tier 2 tier 3 cities where we are getting very good response we are opening stores there and uh, this year we have almost a target of opening another 100 stores uh, mr singh just a couple of questions there uh, consumer as we say is at the core of uh, everything and there's a lot uh, that one sees in uh, the consumer changing and like you've adapted a lot of your uh, brands and also diversified into apparels and uh, you know uh, other other stuff uh, to actually cater to the changing uh, needs of the consumer what according to you in the last 5 years uh, has been uh, the shift uh, in consumer perception about brands and how do you think it has impacted your business apart from of course uh, diversifying into uh, you know various uh, other streams or lines as you may say see first of all i'll tell you uh, when we started you know uh, 20 years back and things have changed a lot you know first our challenge used to be you know like selling a branded product because earlier there was a fight between unbranded and branded you know because a lot of people were buying unbranded and it was cheap so they thought you know like this is better but first of all we had to uh, change the perception for people to uh, realize that yes brand stand for quality they stand for a certain uh, image so uh, that was achieved basically with us coming into market with lot of other brands especially the sports brands coming into the market so uh, uh, till now there is a fight what even today if we see the stats the branded uh, segment in india is almost not more than uh, 15% 15 to 20% rest is all unbranded so uh, but i think this is growing because uh, because of the awareness so people are realizing that brands are bigger and they are they uh, they project a certain image and so people definitely in today's uh, course when we come to footwear people are going in for sports shoes they are going for formal shoes so there are different segmentations in the uh, market Uh, you also mentioned uh, i i guess the best way to connect with the youth is really uh, digital uh, today and you have been uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, you know work in that area and being very very active on social media do you see uh, yourself moving uh, tremendously into the area of digital because you know one has seen digital come in then suddenly one heard uh, mobile and suddenly now it's social and social is also growing by leaps and bounds so what according to you beyond social is something that you would like to explore see i think uh, we uh, you know about 3 years back we had made a e retailing uh, you know but that time we got a very lukewarm kind of a uh, response so you know things are going but they are still slow in india you know what we see even today people are not very uh, comfortable buying on uh, internet you know they 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 are scared you know Uh, probably because of product like a garment or shoe which they still prefer to go to a shop and see feel wear it before they buy but uh, gradually this is changing people are getting more comfortable buying because definitely it is uh, if you can buy uh, sitting at home or in your office you know and order something and uh, not uh, have, you don't have to go to a crowded mall get a parking and all so it's much more convenient but you know it is gradual you uh, we uh, again like 3 years na- down the line we have started again and now today we are getting a good response similarly on facebook and internet you know there are changes we we need to work a lot on the di- digital but we can't just give away our traditional uh, ways of advertising also so they have to be a good balance out you know we have to balance it and definitely more emphasis is being given to digital now some hope for media uh, traditional media agencies i guess there uh, another question which i have is and very interestingly the pro planet uh, platform that uh, you have adapted uh, for the brand in fact at havas we do brand sustainability studies which actually talk about uh, you know how brands benefit uh, the lives of uh, consumers and how positively they impact the lives of the consumers so uh, obviously you, there have been so many initiatives that you've done in the in the area of uh, you know whether it is with unicef whether it is uh, you know uh, eco friendly or whether whatever or greenathon or whatever those kind of initiatives you would obviously continue because you have adapted the pro planet thing i just want to understand where did that idea of uh, 
uh, you know, this whole sustainability thing uh, come to your mind, which you have seamlessly actually, uh, you know, weaved into the brand Woodland? See, I think uh, uh, there's a very important connect with Woodland, adventure and nature. You know, what we feel, you know, like we nowadays, we take a lot of kids from schools to this I, I discovery and in me, you know, where we take them for these treks outside, uh, you know, to the mountains or somewhere. We make them, we, uh, last year we had this uh, group of leaders where we made a campaign, uh, Clean Himalayas. So I think it's very important to, uh, you know, uh, give this a connect and it starts from the youth, you know, because they are more concerned with these uh, initiatives, you know. And once they go outside and they go to the nature and they do activities, they also feel more concerned for the nature, you know, they want to look after that. So I think uh, it's coming gradually, but we want to keep it, sustain it and uh, make it much bigger because we feel this is the need of the hour. And if, you know, like I think a lot of other companies are also doing some efforts in this. And I think this has to become like a movement, you know, not just Woodland alone can do something, you know. If there are other companies, other brands doing this, this becomes like a, you know, and I think India has to, uh, you know, wake up for this, you know. That's interesting. Uh, it's been a very interesting, adventurous and outdoorsy kind of a journey that one has seen and uh, that typically uh, really uh, emerges out of all the communication that you have uh, uh, to, to the consumer. So obviously I guess uh, that is something uh, that will continue. Uh, how do you see your communication partners, for example, your creative agency and your media agency, uh, really understand the brand uh, very well and do, do you think they have a huge role to play in terms of partnering with you and uh, helping you achieve your business objectives? I think almost 20 years back you were there in Low Lintas yes, that was, time and yes. until today we are with them. So I think that shows our, uh, you know, like uh, we know they know the brand very well and we have, uh, you know, in fact this is one of our very important role partners, you know, and uh, yes, we do share a lot of uh, ideas with them and they inspire us to do a lot of things and uh, definitely uh, they have a big role in building this brand up to this level. So that's, that's great for the agency. Um, just, just one of the last questions and then we can, you know, for another a couple of questions uh, from, from the floor itself. Uh, my last question really is that being an entrepreneur and building a brand the way you have built uh, Woodland is, is, is a fairly phenomenally interesting uh, story in itself. Uh, what I would want to understand is that, uh, you know, in today's day and age, uh, advertising agencies uh, or communication partners are finding it a little difficult to interact with the MDs and the CEOs and they're interacting more with the procurement departments, uh, you know, of, of clients. So what, what in your mind, where do you think this moving? I mean, you think that the procurement is here to stay? Or from an entrepreneurial point of view, you would obviously have a point of view where you say that, you know, it's the interaction with the MD which is very, very important because finally he is the one who, who runs the business and who understands the brand. But do you think this whole procurement uh, bit which is coming in is, is here to stay and is it giving... See, I think controls? it's very important for the people who matter in both the agency as well as in the brand or in the company, you know, to interact... Uh, very often on the brand, you know, because how things are changing, how, you know, uh, things are changing so fast. In fact, if you know, don't interact very often and you can't, you know, you can't uh, really live up to it, like what you're saying, you know, things are changing, mobiles are coming in, you know, your gaming is coming in. So, there are a lot of ideas which probably anybody in the company who really matters and make, can make a change, it's very important for them to uh, involve themselves into it. You know. So some learning there, I guess, clients need to have uh, more advertising savvy people in their procurement departments. Uh, yeah. Uh, open to the house. Any questions uh, for Mr. Singh here? Congratulations. My name is Sivaji Rao Sai Baba, Media Studies, Johalan Nehru University. Very innovative methodology that you have followed. Approach is very innovative to looking into the green economy and ecological variations. But one thing you have not mentioned with your positive input, whether it is a more response from international market or I'm simplifying the question. In the coming days, democracy, democratization is going to take place in India. In th any democrat is going to use this woodland show targeting the corrupt politician. Could you guess? Uh, 
Uh, You're all yours, Mr. Singh. <laughs> I think it's a, a question with an answer. Yeah. Yes. Uh, to an extent, yes. Uh, you know, like shoes are uh, used in different forms, so it's definitely a, a strong uh, woodland shoe can really make a difference. Yeah. I guess the rate at which the politicians are getting hit by shoes, we'll need to check the brands. Yeah. Any more questions? Yeah. She needs a mic. Hi, my name is Yamini. I'm from stylecandy.com. Um, so you've just explained to us that you've always been an outdoor brand. Now, uh, we've seen Woodland always marketing itself as an all-adventure, all-terrain, a nature wear kind of a brand, but you also have a very huge variety of fashion women's um, footwear, um, which is at par, if not better, than any of the leading international brands at the market at the moment. How come we haven't seen you marketing from that direction? Uh, see, as I told you, uh, we launched Woods, which is more of a fashion uh, brand, and this was done almost about five years back. And we initially, we test marketed it in the Woodland stores. So um, we got a very good response, especially from the metros, because the product is slightly higher priced. And uh, now uh, what, uh, with that response, we got very encouraged. And now we are opening uh, standalone stores of Woods. And we are already working on the website for the Woods range of uh, shoes. And we are even uh, going in for uh, e-store for that. And uh, till now, we are just providing footwear in woods, and uh, there are some accessories like ladies' bags, coordinated uh, ladies' bags, and all. But uh, soon, we'll have a range of uh, apparel also in, into that. So I think it's in the building stage, and I think the market is also not too ready with the kind of responses we get for this, because there are very uh, few markets in the metros and the malls where we can have these stores. And um, it's not like Woodland. Woodland, as I told you, we have gone to tier 2, tier 3 cities. But here we need to be very selective about the stores and the kind of advertising we do. Because in the premium segment, you have to have that snob value, you know, and uh, that's why the women buy those bags and they need uh, something more than just the product. So uh, I think we are on the building stage at that uh, for Woods now. Thank you very much, Mr. Singh. That was certainly an adventurous journey. Yeah, thank you very much for being here. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, everybody.